Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learning Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1562, Latin America, 1.234,56. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and today's question sent in by Mary from Pennsylvania. Mary got a file uh, from their Latin American subsidiary. It has this whole huge big column of numbers that are in the wrong format. See this with the... Uh, uh, 5.590 comma 57. So they're using comma for the decimal point and a period for the thousand separator. Now, actually, Mary's data was like this over here, and it's much simpler if you don't have that decimal point. If you don't have that decimal point, check this out. I'm going to hold down Control Shift Down Arrow. That selects the whole column. Control H for Find and Replace. I'm going to find every comma and replace with a period. Click Replace All. And we are good to go, all right? You can now do math with that. But if you have data like this with the thousand separator there, uh, you don't want to uh, be really convoluted. You'd have to change the comma to like a semicolon, change the period to a comma, uh, and then change the semicolon back to a period. But there's a better way. Control Shift down arrow to select the range. Then out on the data tab, text to columns, I'm going to say delimited. I'm going to make sure that comma is not selected. Tab is good because there are no tabs in the data. I want to have just a single field. Click next. All right, here's the magic. In step three, check this out, the advanced button. But you never checked out the advanced button. It says, hey, to recognize numeric data, the decimal separator is not a period. It's a comma. The thousand separator is not a comma. It is a period. I'll check that out. There's even must be some system that uses an apostrophe. All right, so um, period for thousand separator comma for decimal separator. And this doesn't affect your settings at all, right? You're still going to get whatever numbers displayed as the regional settings show. It just says, hey, for this text, this is how you recognize where the, the thousand separator and the um, decimal separator is. So we click OK, click Finish, and bam, good to go. All right. Love that one. I want to thank Mary for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast.